What's up, everybody? The 25 cognitive biases. We are going over number 16 today. And this one's super important. This one is, I think, one of the most important ones to, to learn, to examine, to know how to decipher when you're dealing with everyday life. So this is number 16, contrast misreaction. I'm going to read you a passage from uh, that Charlie T. Munger says. He says, Because the nervous system of a man does not naturally measure in absolute scientific units, it must instead rely on something simpler. The eyes have a solution that limits their programming needs. The contrast in what is seen is registered. And as in sight, so does it go largely in the other senses. Moreover, as perception goes, so goes cognition. And he says the result in man is this contrast misreaction tendency. And few psychological tendencies have the potential to do more damage to correct thinking. Um, one way he put this was looking at a broker. So you get a buyer, you get a buyer uh, from a city, wants to move his family quick, makes an appointment, talks to the broker. The, the broker shows the guy three houses that are very steep in price, very high priced houses that are just bad houses that this guy wouldn't want to put his family in, just real bad. Um, and then the fourth house the broker shows him is a decent house. It's not the best, but it's decent. But the price, instead of being crazy high, insane, like these three bad houses you just shown, is a lot cheaper. It's still high. It's not as high. It's cheaper. And the house is not as bad. So immediately what this does is contrast in the buyer's mind is, okay, this is a better house and it's cheaper than these three bad houses that were way more. So it seems like he's getting a good deal. So the contrast misreaction tendency to look at how he's being tricked here. Is the house really worth the amount? Or is he misweighing by comparison, by comparing two? So one way you see this also is in like stores, any kind of stores. Uh, GNC I used to work at, and this was huge and pissed me off, you see it. They'll have, uh, look at their prices when you go to the store next time. For, I think it was like Optimum Nutrition 100% way, they would have a price tag that said $99.99 for a five pound tub away. And then there would be a sticker that would say, huge sale, 50 bucks, half price. Now, they always have this. They always have some sort of sale. You guys, that's be, if you're fucking falling for that, you're being tricked. There, no way is worth $99. Like, that, that's the contrast. So, $99, oh, I'm getting it for half price. Boom, in your head, cognition, perception is I'm getting a good price. But no, that's where the tricking's done. You're going to see this all the time. Watch out for that, okay? These insane prices. Look for these insane prices and then these things that say it's on sale or discounted today only. Bullshit, all right? Um, Charlie says that cognition misled by tiny changes involving low contrast will often miss a trend that is destiny. This is how many businesses die. So when these these this buildup of us making these small misweighing uh, contrast misreaction these. Uh, like he says, this being misled by the, these tiny changes involving low contrast, causing us to make bad decisions and miss our stride. 
miss our optimal uh, growth by making these bad choices. Um, he said this is how many businesses die. He also quoted Benjamin Franklin. Uh, well, how does it go? Small leaks sink huge ships. So over the progress of time, and how true is that? Do we get so caught up in the contrast, misweighing small leaks, what we're spending our money on, sink huge ships, what we're putting our time in, what is the outcome, what are we getting? So this contrast misreaction, hugely important because it distorts our perception and our cognition when trying to make accurate choices, when trying to use correct thinking. So guys, also one way that you can look at this is let's go totally out of the whole like contrast when it comes to money, what to spend on, am I making a good decision? Well, what about contrast when it comes to looking how the, the being optimistic or, or looking at how hard something actually is. Now there's people like, like there's one contrast, people always looking at things like this. Oh, it's so freaking hot. You know, this summer it's so freaking hot. It's raining. It's so humid. I hate it. I hate it. Well, I look at them like, dude, at least it's not snowing. At least it's not zero degrees, negative zero. You know, no thanks. <laughs> like, I would take this any day. Or just stuff like that, the contrast. Oh, it's, we put a man on the moon, right? We put a man on the freaking moon. And if we can do that, well, then I can, I can get out of being poor or being broke and become a millionaire. All right, we can all do that. If we can put a man on the moon, we can literally figure out a way to get enough money in our life to do good for others, to live a happy, successful life, and to, to control our environment, okay? If we can do that. So this contrast, this way of looking at things, it's, it's so funny when you have this mindset of like, dude, are you really convinced that things are that difficult or, or that it's that bad? Just look at the contrast between the two, two things. Very cool. So, the contrast misreaction tendency, this is number 16 on the 25, I'll see you guys tomorrow, please subscribe, peace.